Tuesday morning. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Concho Valley This Morning update. Schools in Junction are closed today due to flooding. Junction Police Department is advising motorists to be very cautious on the roadways. Interstate 10 is covered in water, and both directions are being closed at the 456 exit. In other local news, a San Angelo man pled guilty to murder Monday at the Tom Green County Courthouse. 28-year-old Eric Martinez is one of four people charged in the murder of 69-year-old William Valdez back in 2015. Martinez is sentenced to 40 years in prison and also waives his right to appeal or request a new trial. Police said Valdez was shot during a burglary at his home on Cellar Street just off of Bell back in August of 2015 and died several weeks later in the hospital. And San Angelo's dog park will be reopening this Friday following a citywide parvo outbreak that happened two weeks ago. Contra Valley Paws also began accepting and adopting dogs again after the outbreak had forced them to stop temporarily. During the outbreak, parvo claimed the lives of six shelter dogs. 22 had to be euthanized and more than 150 other dogs received treatment. Shelter officials say that the disease was likely introduced to the shelter by stray animals. Yes, we did have a couple of shelter animals that were surrendered. One was pregnant, she had parvo, and um, she kind of consequently spread it around a little bit. Um, it's kind of one of those unavoidable things. It's kind of like working in a playground, you know, where kids are all around everywhere. The germs kind of mixed together and stuff, so. The San Angelo City Dog Park is located at 3215 Millbrook Drive. And now let's see what's happening in weather with Taban Sharifi. Taban, it is a very cold start today. Is it going to continue to be chilly? We're going to continue to see those cool temperatures, 44 degrees for our high temperature as we head into that this afternoon. We are going to continue to see light to moderate showers throughout today and tonight. Some locally heavy rainfall possible with a flash flood watch in place. Northerly winds to 15 miles per hour. As we head into the evening and overnight hours, an overnight low of 40 degrees. So still feeling cool out there. Showers likely throughout the evening. Northerly winds to 15 miles per hour. And as we go into tomorrow, just a little bit of a warm up, 50 degrees. But still seeing all that rain likely for the day.